Well, I think as you point out, this is symbolic of this struggle between you have a president who wants to accomplish things in policy, right, Taking, talking tough on China through, uh, through Peter Navarro, former San Diego politician, would do that, but he also wants to win re-election. That has to be his overriding goal this year. And so, you know, keeping the markets calm uh, is, is a huge goal, to, step towards that. And so just as John Bolton was criticizing him for kind of running his policy and his foreign policy in a way that was designed to, to win his reelection, um, some of that tension is playing out in his foreign trade policy as well. Yeah, it seems to me, though, that China, or whoever's at the other side of the negotiating table, will see through that. And it almost appears as a vulnerability from Trump's side. But just when it comes to the domestic politics of it, I mean, given the polls that you're reviewing, do you think the tough on China approach will work for Trump? You know, I think China was a big part of what President Trump ran on uh, in restoring America's you know, just much stronger trade position in 2016. And that was a huge part of what drew blue collar workers who lost their jobs to, to factories that had closed and, and moved out of the country. That was a, a, big, a big part of his populist appeal. That's not what he's running on in 2020. It, the, the nation has moved on. He's had many, arguably, some of his, his biggest successes in that realm. But it hasn't been a top-tier issue in the way that the economy, which is what, what the president really wants to, to make this election about, but also COVID and the president's leadership during that, the Black Lives Matter movement, which under which the president has, has taken some serious missteps and, and some serious political losses, all of those uh, seem to have usurped. Um, the role of trade. And really what you see the president doubling down on right now is, is his immigration policy, which was also a political winner for him in 2016. He's going to the desert where the border wall, where the, the border barriers have been heightened into a, into a 30-foot flat fence and 200 miles of that has been built. That's what he wants voters to be looking at and thinking about when they walk into the ballot box in November.